What's going on you guys? It's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know I literally live at the thrift store and at the 99 cent store. I am always making things out of things. So for today's video, I really want to challenge myself and I decided to do a challenge where I make a whole outfit using things from the 99 cent store and it's like things that you would never even think of wearing like a freaking picnic table cover or a dog leash. And I figured since I put so much hard work into making an outfit, I might as well wear it for the whole day. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next time that I post. Also, I have been wearing this sweater literally every single day this week. I'm so sorry if you've been seeing it all over my Instagram. I feel like this could be mistaken for a Supreme sweater, like a sweater that's $100 or a golf wang sweater, but really I just thrifted it in the men's section for $2. Oh my gosh, bless you child. Aww. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> Am I back in focus? I'm rambling on, so let's jump right into this challenge. Well, we made it, you guys. 99 cent store. I picked the extra bougie one just because they might have like more stuff. I mean, I don't want to make it ugly. I have to wear it for a day, so I have to make it at least somewhat cute. These are freaking hilarious. I'm actually kind of into this princess toddler beanie. Shout out to Liza Koshi. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> $2 though, ew. Look at all their cute gingham stuff. They have black gingham cloth. Oh wait, just kidding, it's not cloth. Peppa is my girl. She is such a savage. So I found some caution tape, and I also found yellow duct tape. I feel like I could do something with this. These are all the items that I got at the dollar store. I literally got just like the most randomest things ever. So I picked up a dog muzzle, um, a dog leash, some caution tape, and some yellow duct tape, plaid picnic table cover. I got some um, Velcro little tape things, yellow shoelace because I kind of wanted to make like a strap maybe somehow, and these black stockings, which I think I'm going to use as just like an accessory or something. I'm going to film this video a little differently. I'm going to be kind of doing a tutorial and talking at the same time because it's all an experience. So yeah, anyways, look at my new rings. Cute, right? Anyways, let's get started on this thing. You guys, this thing is a lot thinner than I expected. Look, you could literally see my hand through it. So I cut two pieces each of the patterns. I actually cut this one the wrong side. It's supposed to be opposite, but whatever. It's just gonna be lining. So now what I'm gonna do is just glue them both together so that they become like one piece. Wait, that actually looks really ugly. <laughs> oh my gosh, the glue is like melting it. Oh no, that's not good. I wanted to fold these in and kind of make a hem. I don't know if I'm doing the most and that's like just so super extra because I'm literally only gonna use it for a day. Even though this stuff is made out of things from the dollar store, I still wanna make it look decent and not super ugly. I'm gonna be wearing this out for a whole day so I don't want it to be really, really hideous. You know what I mean? I can't believe I'm hemming a plastic table cover. So now that I have the two edges on this side hemmed, I'm going to overlap it like this and then I'm going to glue it down probably like midway and then the rest of the way I'm going to glue down some adhesive velcro stickers because your girl needs to get into this somehow. Cool. Because I feel like this skirt is gonna have zero stretch, I added a couple slits like in the front to maybe do like a little double front slit. And now I'm just gonna glue them down. I'm literally just going to add some glue to the edge right here. And then I'm gonna fold it over. I'm hoping I did not just mess up this whole skirt by doing this. It's kind of a little too small at the hip area. I'm gonna add like a racing stripe right here with the black duct tape. We'll see if this even works. What am I doing? Do you guys kind of see what I'm going for? It doesn't have to be too cute on the inside because it's just the inside. The goal for this project is to make my outfit not look like a picnic table. That doesn't look that bad, actually. 
actually. Ooh, wait, y'all. This is actually kind of cute. Ta-da! Here's the skirt. <laughs> it feels so stiff and so plasticky. I mean, it kind of looks cute from afar. I'm only using it for a day, so it should be okay. So for the top, I wanted to make just like a little bandeau like this and then having the shoelace as straps. Now that I have a big rectangle with both sides taped, I'm going to kind of size it. Uh, it's looking like I might be a little short. So now for the top, I went ahead and added that extra duct tape that I made and I taped it onto the bigger piece. So because I do design, I'm actually going to do some darts. So I'm just gonna fold it in like this. And then I'm just gonna tape it down. I'm going to make a loop on one side. That way I could thread this through and then make it into a tie. I really like these Velcro things. They're so useful. Then this one's going to go right here. So that when I'm ready to tie everything, it could go this way through the loop. <laughs> this is so extra. And then I can tie it here. That way I could either make it adjustable because this thing is not stretchy at all. I might make like a little shirt to go over it to go on top of the yellow. That way I'm just not kind of naked. I know the hot glue is gonna burn this for sure, especially because I'm only using one layer. So what I'm gonna do is actually hand stitch this thing together. I sewed the sides and the shoulder and I added a little bit of hot glue just in case, you know, like rips out. And I also had to cut like a little V right here because my big head would not fit through this. Now I'm going to cut the U for the shirt and this is going to be like just like a little peekaboo to see the bandeau. The reason why I got the dog muzzle was mainly just for the buckle. I was originally going to use this black part as just like a little black belt, but I'm going to do this caution tape thing instead and make it kind of like those off white. White belts. I'm gonna fold the caution tape into thirds. That way it could fit into our little buckle. Ta-da! Now I have my caution tape belt. Oh my god. I'm so dead. I want it to be so obvious that people are like, oh my gosh, she's using caution tape as a belt. Done. Okay, so I found this leash at the dollar store and I was thinking, you know, the chain accessories are so popular right now. Why don't I just, you know, make it into that? I'm gonna safety pin this probably onto the skirt somewhere. And then I'm just going to hook it up like this. Here's the outfit, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't mind my messy bed. Anyway, so this is the outfit. You know what? Actually, from far away, it doesn't look that bad. I'm actually really digging this color scheme. If these were real fabric materials, this would be a cute outfit. I'm pretty sure Off-White got their inspiration from caution tape. They had to have, like... And the socks did not work out because they said it was knee high. It ended up being like calf high. So I just 86 that because there was no point in using them. We have lots to do today. I have to go to the photo store. Then I have to go to the gym. I'm going to show up to the gym like this. Go to church. Go to dinner. We're going to see if this outfit holds up. Honestly, I think the bottom part isn't bad. It's just this duct tape part and the top just not that cute. <gasps> it broke already. You guys, the strap broke already. I don't know how. It honestly just stays because it's so sticky and kind of just sticks to my body sweat. So maybe I'll just take it off. I just came back from the Photoshop right now and the lady didn't say anything about my outfit. So yeah. now I'm going to the gym, but I feel like that's going to be more embarrassing because there's way more people at the gym. Also, it is really hard to sit in my car because of the skirt. Oh, difficult. 
I can't move. Oh my gosh, I feel like my skirt's ripping. So I got to the gym right now and Hi, he recognized my costume tape belt. Yes. He has oh, a YouTube channel. Yeah, he was but, like, did you die? Yo, shouts out. Hi, man, FF99. Check it out. It's beatboxing. New coming videos, competitions. Stay tuned. Yes, hi, man. <laughs> that transition. Dude, I just got here. Oh yeah, you guys know Courtney. And that's her husband, Ronnie. Hi. I'm not walking alone into the gym wearing this outfit. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I am not ashamed now. Yay. I made it through the gym, you guys. I made it through, no one said anything. I'm literally sweating though, because it's basically plastic and I'm sweating here and here. All of my nudes are bossy, all of my girls are flossy All of my nudes are bossy, all of my girls are flossy Make money, money, make money, money, money Take money, money, take money, money, money what a nigga like me, I'm still a even though I'm doing my thing And that don't change cause the TV, as long as my people they love me, my baby some way She telling me she missing me, but she love the hustle when dollars the currency change I am here at church now, I had to put this sweater on but I kind of kept it checkered to keep the theme you know And plus I didn't want to roll up in that top and bandeau at church Mom do you like my outfit? Very <laughs> So I just finished at church and I could tell that my top is coming apart. I'm still wearing the um, tablecloth shirt underneath and I was like trying to be quiet because you could hear it like like underneath. Did you hear me mom? My shirt was making so much noise. Is that what I heard? <laughs> yeah. I was like I heard something. Oh my auntie's in the back. Hi oh. auntie. Hi Alexa. <laughs> okay guys so I'm walking in our church parking lot and I found one of you guys. Hi. Yay. She literally like pointed me out. Oh, I'm just Alice person. <laughs> Yay! I don't know what else to say. Finally completed the day in this outfit. Ah! Very, very, very uncomfortable. The most uncomfortable is that word outfit I've ever had to wear. I literally am sweating and it's really cold outside. I actually really like my caution tape belt and my little chain detail thing. So might keep it. I don't think I'm gonna keep anything else. I'm gonna toss it. That's it. I'm gonna change out of this because it is very, very not comfy at all. Thank you guys so much for watching and as usual if you guys enjoy this video Please give it a big thumbs up to let me know that and if you guys want to see me do challenges like this Where I I don't know go to a random store and try to make clothes or an outfit out of something We could do Home Depot, Toys R Us, wait no not Toys R Us because I think Toys R Us is like out of business now Anyways you guys get the point comment down below let me know what you guys think of this kind of challenge And if you want to see more challenges like this if you guys want to connect with me on social media All my socials are at Dina for Rose and I think that's it it. This is a short outro. Um, I don't have anything else to say except for I love you guys all and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!